So here's one of the most important things that's going to be going down at SummerSlam. We've got Seth Rollins, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and John Cena, the United States Champion. Winner takes all. They are pretty much refusing to acknowledge this as a title unification match, but they keep talking about it being, well, I'll have both the titles and stuff like that, you know, so it, it is in a sense, but it's also not specifically saying that they're going to get rid of one of the titles. So that might play a big factor into this. And WWE, you know, they make up their rules. They can change things around and whatever like that. But we might see something where, you know, it's not as uh, set in stone as it would seem like it would be. A lot of people are expecting some weird finishes for this. Some people think money in the bank. Some people think that there's going to be a screw job. Different ways that you can get around this. So... Toss out some ideas. What do you guys think is going to end up happening here? I think Seth, by devious means, does it again. At um, this point, I'm ready for him to lose, but I'm sure they've got a plan with him. So I'll see it for it. For some reason, I really hope it doesn't go this route, but I'm just hoping that they don't go with the easy route and just do like a DQ or a double count out or, or anything of that nature because this just sours on the whole point of the match. So, hopefully, and they don't screw this up, Seth Rollins wins and if Sheamus cash, just tries to cash in, Seth Rollins ends up leaving the, with the title no matter what. That would be my ideal thing. So, hopefully, Seth Rollins is becomes the champions and good things come. Have Seth Rollins win this, have him keep both titles, have him continue gloating, have him grow his ego. That's the story they're telling, and that's the story you should continue going with. By no means should this end with Lol Cena wins. By no means should it really end with anything else than Seth Rollins getting both those titles. Because then there's no other reason why this match should happen like this. There's no reason John Cena should still be U.S. champion. That's, that's like the bottom line of it. He should have lost that title by now. Whether it was the Kevin Owens or the Cesaro or someone going into the main event of SummerSlam, he did not still need to be U.S. champion unless you're making Seth Rollins a double champion. That's exactly the way that I look at this because this isn't the way that I would have ended the U.S. title reign that he has, but it's certainly not like the next step going to be and then I would give him the world title because mm. like, then he's never going to do the U.S. Open Challenge again. And if you have Seth Rollins hold the title, at this point, get rid of the fucking U.S. title. Like, have him unify it. Have them say something about, like, well, you know, we don't really like the idea of, like, you having two belts or whatever. And he just kind of goes, like, all right, well, just fucking merge it in there. Well, you know what they could even do? Seth Rollins could come out the next night on Raw, and he could just completely, like, shit on the U.S. title. Yeah, just go, yeah, you know, I won this and stuff, but it's beneath me because I'm the world champion. Not of just United States. So, yeah, you could fucking... And he couldn't take... rattle off all the Hall of Famers who's held that belt and just say he's better than them. Mm hmm But here's the only one that matters. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. <laughs> Seth, Seth Rollins. Rollins. Uh, you better not rattle off about demolition. You know, they might get really pissy. <laughs> but then he could even just kind of go like, you know, all these people want it, but you know what? I'm the last one. We're getting rid of this fucking title. Now where's my statue? Yeah, where's my goddamn now, statue? It should have been built overnight. <laughs> see, the th thing is, they were talking. There's always been those dirt sheets about them trying to prestige the United States title. I don't, I don't think they just get rid of it just like that. I think it holds some meaning still because it jumps. Well, if you're going to unify it with the world title, then they did it the best way they could. Yeah, that's very true. Maybe that's why they were trying to add prestige to it so it could like, seem like something worth putting in with the world title. Yep, this makes the most sense. Maybe, because, I mean, if you would have had John Cena and Ryback and merge the two mid-card titles, everybody would have been like, all right, well, John Cena wins. Like, you know. What if the original plan really was to have Daniel Bryan keep that IC title and have him versus John Cena at SummerSlam? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the plan. Would that, that have made it okay, though? It would have been better, because um, Daniel Bryan has more clout than Ryback. Yeah, like Ryback and stuff, but, you know, if you have Daniel Bryan and John Cena in a title unification match, people are going to care so much more than Ryback and Cena. Who wins that match, though? Bryan and Dan Cena? Yeah. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? No, I would go with John Cena. 
What? Dan and Brian won. Brian won. When the last time they had a match like that at SummerSlam. Yeah. All for that reason. Have him do that and uh, maybe like two months down the line somebody beats Cena for it. A couple months down the line Brian beats that person. I mean neither, you know, none of this is going to happen anyway. But uh, there's a lot of people that are like going crazy with trying to figure out the booking of this match. And there's definitely a lot of potential that they can overbook this and it can really fuck it up. I mean, like, I think that the match itself could be pretty good. I mean, we were at the Royal Rumble and we saw Cena and Rollins had some good chemistry. So I'm looking forward to the match. But, man, that ending, there are so many ways they can fuck it up. Ref bump, double count out, uh, no contest from some kind of interference. Wait, what's wrong with a ref bump? I love a good old ref bump. A ref bump can be done well, but it can be done so poorly. Someone needs to ref bump, ref bump these fucking crickets. I would almost guarantee there's going to be a ref bump and then an authority placed referee. So, Scott Arnold, Armstrong, whatever his name is, comes Scott out. Scott Arnold. Still there. Scott Arnold. <laughs> My Tom name Arnold is Scott or something. Arnold. Yeah, we're like a pack of hyenas. As soon as somebody says something wrong, it's like, ah, you said it wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, at the same time, too, like, the authority hasn't been playing a big factor in this build. Like Triple H and if Stephanie anything, McMahon they've been challenging Seth Rollins more and more through it rather than backing him up. Yeah, and Kane's not been there. Um, the J and J security haven't been hanging around. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, if somebody interferes, I don't know who would interfere, but it would definitely be on Seth uh, Seth Rollins's behalf. And They're so tough. fucking stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they had Kane fucking return. Everyone thinks he's going to attack Seth Rollins and he attacks Cena just to go, No, we got you again. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, We've gone through our bad times and our good times. Again. But we're back to this story again. You know, I, I don't want that to happen. I'd rather fucking Cena win than to have that happen. And... A lot of people think money in the bank is coming into play here. Anybody want to see that happen? Nope. Unless yeah. unless Sheamus loses. That I'd be down for. If like how imagine if they pulled that off too. Like Seth Rollins just cleanly beats John Cena, wins the US title, Sheamus tries to cash in, and he successfully defends it. And he just goes, I fucking beat Money in the Bank, beat John Cena, won the US title, still the world champ, give me my fucking statue. <laughs> That'd be shut, great. Shut up, homeless. <laughs> Man. You want to get some heat on Seth Rollins? How much more can you give him other than that, you know? If you beat Sheamus, though, people would fucking pop for him. Yeah. Honestly, though, if Sheamus lost money in the bank to somebody, I'd love it to be against a guy smaller, like, significantly smaller than him. Seth's actually, like, I've noticed with Seth, he's a lot bigger than I used to, like, realize. Back when he was in the flak jacket, he looked so much smaller. So if we get, you know, just devil's advocate here. If we get John Cena and he wins the title, the titles. What do you guys think you want to see for Night of Champions? Just a generic rematch between him and Rollins, or should we move on to something else? I think you have to do the rematch. Seth has had a lengthy title reign. He's, unless they give it away on Raw... I mean, I've never done that before. Um, otherwise, I don't know what else you do. Unless you bring Brock Lesnar back into play. Uh, Cena should just win all the titles. So he'll go after the Intercontinental title next. He'll just take one at a time until he gets them all. Opposite end of the spectrum, we get Seth Rollins, double champ. Who should be his next challenger for Night of Champions? John Cena, because, you know. I think, he, I think he should have to pull double duty and wrestle twice. <laughs> Ooh. That'd be kind of interesting. He did it with Dolph. If it's Night of Champions and he holds both belts, he has to defend both belts. So wouldn't Cena do the same thing if he held both titles? Uh yeah. Well dude, I just like do you remember the fucking triple threat match uh, from WrestleMania I wanna say uh sixteen? Two thousand? Uh, yeah. Fucking um Chris Jericho, Benoit, Kurt Angle, two fulls for each belt. Yeah? Who'd you put in as the third person? 
Ryback. It can be anyone. Ryback can anything. merge all the titles. <laughs> Please, that'd be awesome. That'd be a crazy man. That's like one of my favorite triple threat matches of all time. That'd be fucking awesome to put uh, do for the two belts. All right, so what you do here, you merge the U.S. and the world title. And then you've got the two tag champs, Ryback and the, you know, Rollins or whatever like that in a Fatal 4-Way. <laughs> I know the champions. What annoys me about the fucking, the fact that, like, the chances the U.S. title and the world title are getting unified is... The United States title makes so much sense to have as a mid-card title. Intercontinental doesn't. Mm -hmm. Fucking names just like essentially means yeah, we're the world as well, uh, the world title as well. Yeah, because even like the national championship versus the international championship, like you know, there's that little inner kind of fucks it all up. <laughs> but nobody yeah. would want to have the continental champion. <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean TNA all had the title, all the continents. Title. Yeah, they also have a King of the Mountain title now, which somehow <laughs> shares the same lineage. So, Blech. yeah, fuck that company. So here's where you guys are wrong, though. Okay, see, the Intercontinental title can be defended anywhere on the seven continents. The World title can be defended anywhere on the seven continents and also all the oceans. <laughs> so they can Ooh. have this oil rig match. <laughs> mm-hmm. It will come into play someday, I promise you. Yeah, make, like on a cruise ship or something like Yo, that. What? They should do that. That should be like a super hardcore pay-per-view. They do like, coming on the WWE Network, International Waters. Cruise Control. Goes. <laughs> and it could be the debut of Apollo Crew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to win. <laughs> Oh, you know what? He should come out, and he should, like, extend his arm and go, Cruise! Cruise! Hello, Moose. <laughs> oh, we're just degrading into nothing this year. Uh, final predictions on who's going to win the match. Drew? Seth Rollins. Way go. Seth Rollins. Payton? Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins. I'm also going Seth Rollins here. And hopefully, no Schmaz ending, just beats him. End of story. Last match, main event Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar.